Lee for farmers in parts of Weber County tonight after an irrigation pipe failure left them without water for days. New specialist Brianna Chavez met with the irrigation company that worked tirelessly to fix it and the farmers who were impacted during one of the hottest weeks of the year. This spring, lots of water can be seen flowing all across Weber County. But for some surrounding farms, last week felt like a drought. It's been Friday to Friday, so it's been seven days. Seven days, John Chuggs was unable to water some of his corn used to feed the cows on his dairy farm in Far West. It just stays like this until it gets water, so it starts drying out. So it will never be as tall as the corn over there that has a little bit more moisture to it. The irrigation pipe used to water Chuggs crops five miles away in Ogden had failed. And I was worried um, whether it was going to make it and how long it would be to fix it. It's an old pipe. Dennis Elam with the Western Irrigation Company, who oversees the pipe, said there were several setbacks he faced in order to fix it. And there's utilities that go through the road, and we had some challenges with the utilities. Utilities like gas, electricity, even the drinking water that would have required Dennis to wait 72 hours for an emergency order from Ogden City. We finally got them to agree it was an emergency. And we still lost a couple of days there. Days that Dennis knows some farmers, like Chugs, can't get back. It was the first hot spell of weather. They're ready to water, and there's no water. It was, it was, a, it was a big problem. In hopes of preventing more damage, Dennis says he's working with engineers to figure out how to fix nearby pipes that might need repair soon. And everybody got together and worked through it. Working to bring some sort of relief to farmers like John. It's nice to have the water back on. Despite the lack of water here, John says he still plans on using the corn that didn't get a lot of water. He and Dennis both say, though, that this could have been a lot worse. In Weber County, Brianna Chavez, KSL 5 News.